Hey, uh, it's uh, week three yep. of uh, marathon training, and we're out at this park where apparently there have been sightings of the chupacabra. <laughs> Well, we're looking for all the warning signs for the chupacabra. They must have migrated on. Oh. There's no more warning signs. Maybe it's off season. So if you're wondering about the chupacabra, so it's this folklore that's been around for generations of some animal that kills goats and sucks all their blood up. Yeah. It was even in an episode of the X-Files, if you're interested. David saw one once. It's a I story did. for another day. I did. It was crazy. So, I don't know. There have been sightings out here. <laughs> All right, three miles done. Week three, marathon training. Done. It is uh, 76 degrees, but 87% humidity. It's a little uh, thick. Yeah, it feels very tight around my chest, but it's hard to get a breath, you know, the air's so thick. But we're gonna have a recap, so stick around. Welcome back, everybody. It is the end of week three of our Walt Disney World Marathon training, which is a 28-week training program. Thanks for joining us. You know, um, next week, our mileage goes up to five and a half miles, and then it's just going to keep building yep. and building. And, and building. five and a half is the longest that we've run in some time. Yeah, a long time. A long time. Yeah. But, but, you know, somebody wise reminded us recently, five miles or whatever mileage you run, let's say five and a half miles fast or five and a half miles slow, it's still five and a half miles. It'll be slow. It'll probably be slow. So we're in the middle of a, a heat wave and a drought, but we're not unique. A lot of people are having to deal with that. Yeah. We even heard about the UK having to... Um, Post its first ever 
Uh, Extreme heat. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. on that note, if you're going to get out there and run, make sure you hydrate. Make sure you wear protection. Cap, uh, sunblock, which I forgot to put on today. Yep. Yep. Do as we say. <laughs> Not as we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to be careful. It, it's, it's, it's pretty hot. Uh, mm. So, today... You may have seen from the footage, we went to a park that we've only been to once before a long time ago. And I don't know why. I guess, so... It's close by. It's closer, I think, than the park we normally go to. Yeah, it's probably. just, we live in this town. We live on the, like, outer edge of this town. Uh -huh. But it's like, well, this isn't our town. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, we go to our park in our town, but this one is technically closer. Um, it was nice. So we went... To the next town over yeah. and uh you know went to their big park and um it was great we ran around a lake there were some hills actually it wasn't um yeah. totally flat it was there was some challenging there was some challenging it almost had everything there was like this off-road section yeah we ran through some grass so this park so they have baseball fields uh tennis courts there's some volleyball some really awesome playgrounds like uh -huh. kind of made me oh, wish yeah. for a second that I was still a kid because that playground was really really nice uh -huh. um cricket greens lawns what do they call that pitches Pit no that's soccer they have soccer soccer I don't know a lot of stuff and a three mile trail yeah. that we ran through most of it was unshaded but there was a lot of trees though only on that other part yeah not on this part it was actually really nice and and as we mentioned in the video, Chupacabra, Chupacabra. Chupapavli. Yeah, Chupapotli, no, that's Chupotli. Chupacabra, you know, the, the elusive and dangerous mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fictional well, creature. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, we didn't see the Chupacabra. We didn't even see the Chupacabra sign yeah. that I remember seeing. Yeah, but it's I been think... like four years since we've been there, three years, so they moved it. Well, here's, or it took it down. here's the sign the one and only time we've been to the place before. Pending finding that footage because yeah. it is several years yeah. old. And we may have seen Bigfoot. <laughs> And, and apparently they also have a uh, sign around that lake that we ran around uh, of the, the Loch Ness uh, monster. Mm -hmm. so, Nessie. Uh, Nessie, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, really nice. It, it, it was nice. Nice change of scenery. Yeah, and uh, I, I, they didn't have any, uh, they didn't have water anywhere. But they the, have you know, to, we just, like, they must be hidden somewhere. We just didn't see them. Yeah. Yeah. But for sure, on our five and a half or Water being water fountains. Yeah, water. Uh, yeah. I mean, we could have jumped in the lake, I guess. Uh, uh, on our five and a half or we're, we're definitely going to take our uh, water bottles. Yes, and I think from here on out, we're probably going to have to... Uh, for a while, until yeah. it cools off some. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, there was our run. And in terms of our uh, weekly goals, we are still doing our physical therapy mm -hmm. exercises our core exercises, mm -hmm. uh, some miscellaneous stuff that's really kind of uh, messing with uh, with our, uh, yeah. our muscles and stuff. So uh, <laughs> when I say miscellaneous, you know, we have uh, options for other, uh, you know, exercises to do. And we've done like Pilates, very difficult. Yoga, extremely difficult. And then sometimes we do uh, dance exercises. And uh, man, that side to side work really kind of throws me for Our a legs bit. were pretty wobbly today. Yeah, I mean, who moves side to side? Dancers. Yeah. I think the worst part of doing the dance exercises is, in my mind, I think I look really cool, but in reality, the laughing... No! No, I'm totally supportive. <laughs> this is... This I'm is... Sure. I'm sure I look... Slander. Really <laughs> well, sometimes you laugh because I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> you do always come the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun, right? It's fun. You know, exercise doesn't always have to be like, Ugh, even though... Yeah. Most of the time, I'm... Uh, yeah. But, well, that yeah, the dance, it's a it's a beating, yeah, but... Yeah, it is. Anyway, and it makes, it makes you move in ways that, as a runner, yeah. you don't normally do. And that's that side-to-side -side stuff. But I did learn when I was doing physical therapy with a physical therapist, side-to-side -side exercises are very important because oh. they, they build stabilizer muscles 
that'll help you propel yourself forward. Look at us. I know. So we're trying. Yeah. We are trying. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Millie update. Hey, everybody. Thank you for asking and commenting about Millie. Uh, she really appreciates it. She is doing much better. She's out of the cone. Yep. Been out of the cone for a week. Yeah. She's doing all right. Everybody's in a much better mood now. Yes. Her, her very, very huge scar uh, has healed wonderfully. She's got this little uh, kind of uh, uh, bald tummy oh now gosh. because they shaved her. So she is doing really well. She's back to her uh, normal routine. Yeah. And uh, we're just really, really uh, happy about it. So thanks for asking. And again, Millie really appreciated it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's doing great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, Walt Disney World Marathon 2023 is getting closer and closer. Oh, uh, I thought she was going to come in. Yeah. Uh, our, our training uh, miles just keep building and building. We will continue to do our best to uh, upload a video every week. We have some really, really neat runs coming up. Uh, and one of them might even be on a beach during our training so uh yeah. keep following us so you can follow along as we run all over the place uh <laughs> on our uh, on our journey to the marathon let us know how you're doing let us know what kind of races you're preparing for uh, and just you know stay in touch we love hearing from you if you like this video hit like Thank you to all our subscribers for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, think about it and then share with then us. Then do it. <laughs> yeah. Think <laughs> about it and then hit subscribe. And oh, guess what? If you hit the notification button, you will be notified immediately when we <laughs> upload something. That's kind of yeah. all we have. It is so hot. It's hard to think about anything. Yeah. If I'm it, honest. It really is. You know, it, it makes it hard. <laughs> And here's here's one of the thing, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, you read to me. Uh, professional runners constantly during a run tell themselves, "I want to do this." Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and you know that that that's good to hear because we are in no way professional runners. We just you know we run uh, or jog or move a little bit faster than walking. Slightly faster than one. And I mean, we got out of the car today, the parking lot of the park, and I looked around and I'm like, I really don't feel like doing this. And then we started running and I'm like, hey, I'm feeling okay, but I really don't want to do it. And then a couple of times I'm like, I think I want to stop and walk. Everybody, everybody, no matter your, uh, your, your level uh, is going to think that. So mm -hmm. don't get down on yourself about thinking that. Just do it yeah just get out there uh, hydrate be careful and mm. who man we'll see you in a week yeah it's always an adventure with you <laughs>